How's it going everyone? Ben here and today we're going to be talking about whether or not you can get a beard after you start testosterone replacement therapy as a transmasculine individual. So I want to start out by saying in that a lot of people when they start testosterone replacement therapy one of their biggest changes they want is facial hair and unfortunately facial hair is something that not everyone has control over. A huge majority of our facial hair growth is based on genetics, not even the testosterone that we end up taking. So we have to come to the terms that whether or not we're taking testosterone for masculinization features, the idea of getting facial hair is something that's arbitrary to our genetics and that genetics will determine our facial hair growth. And that you shouldn't be particularly dismayed if you can't grow hair because it'd be really unusual if you're the only person in the entire family with facial hair when your brother is your dad and your uncle doesn't have facial hair at all. I think we have to be really re realistic about the changes that we can expect from using testosterone. So before you even begin thinking about the idea of potentially getting a beard, I want you to look at family photos. Look at your brother, if your brother exists. Look at your father. Look at any cisgender men in your family and look at their facial hair area and to see if they have facial hair. If they do, there's a high likelihood chance that you will eventually lead up to getting a beard of the particular pattern that your family has. Now I will say that beard hair takes a long, long, long time to grow, even in cisgender men. My beard is still growing and it hasn't even completely filled in yet. Like it's take, it's, I've been on testosterone for almost two years and I began noticing hair growth at the one year mark and I'm a little bit over two years and I finally have coarse, coarse hair on the sides of my face, but it hasn't completely filled in yet. And I'm going to further go on with my argument that you have to wait and be patient because my brother who's a cisgender man, it took him five years to eventually get a beard that filled in all the way and he still has areas that still needs filling in that he's waiting on. So my biggest advice to trans masculine individuals out there who are taking testosterone in hopes of getting a beard and know that they have a family history of beards, that you just have to be patient, you have to wait, you can't try to rush it. Uh, I know there are other solutions out there to make your beard hairs come out faster such as minoxidil and uh, other natural products such as peppermint oil. But those ingredients will only get you so far into your beard growth. I personally used minoxidil for about six months and I did notice an increase in hair growth. However, I ended up completely stopping minoxidil for health reasons that I will explain later in another video in the future. But I stopped taking minoxidil and I noticed that a lot of the hair that I did gain and I ended up losing after I stopped it, but I still, had a pretty good amount of hair left after I stopped using minoxidil. So I was happy about that. So if you do want to accelerate your hair growth process, definitely look at um, minoxidil and discuss it with your doctor because minoxidil does have some contraindications and side effects that you should talk to your doctor about instead of self-medicating. But definitely minoxidil is a treatment to get those hairs faster. However, I wouldn't say that they will give you a full on beard. You still have to wait a very, very long time. And that's why when I looked at the side effects of minoxidil and I saw my own beard progression, I benefit, I, I looked at the benefits versus the cost and I saw that even if I did, wasn't on minoxidil, it'll still take me probably the same amount of time for my beard to fully grow in. And I kind of like how I look right now. I don't have I don't, I'm not rushing my beard process. I want it to come magically and I want to be proud of my beard when it comes through. So, um, yeah. So there you have it. That's my spiel on will I get a beard if I'm on testosterone. The answer is kind of yes and no. It really depends on your family's genetics. And if you do have those genetics, you'll probably have to wait a very long time for that beard to fill in. But while you are waiting for that beard to fill in, embrace yourself, look at the other positive changes in your body that you're getting when you're taking testosterone, and just ride the wave of what it means to be a medically transitioning human being. And again, I will say, if you can't grow a beard with testosterone, and if you can't medically transition, you are still valid masculine individual and that you should embrace yourself and people will embrace you as a masculine individual. And I'll see you on the next one. This has been.